Post India announced that world's most powerful leaders managed to agree on a joint declaration at the G20 meeting, despite deep differences of opinion over Ukraine war. Key points joint statement calls for the promotion of regional sovereignty, humanitarian law, peace and stability the joint statement called for the protection of regional sovereignty, humanitarian law and peace and stability. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi called for the world to come together. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi called on the world to come together the African Union, consisting of 55 countries, will be a permanent member of the G20. There were concerns that leaders would not be able to agree on a statement for first time in the G20's 15-year history because Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russia's Vladimir Putin did not attend meeting. The statement, which seems like Western countries making concessions on language issue in the Ukrainian war, does not condemn Russia for conflict. We call on all states to uphold principles of international law, including territorial integrity sovereignty, international humanitarian law, and the multilateral system that preserves peace stability, statement said. In addition to peaceful resolution of conflicts and efforts to address crises, diplomacy and dialogue are critical. We will be united in our efforts to eliminate negative impact of the war on global economy welcome all relevant and constructive initiatives that support a comprehensive, just lasting peace in Ukraine. Negotiators reportedly worked around clock statement, and there was still disagreement chapter Ukraine war when leaders arrived at summit venue in Delhi Saturday morning. India has taken a cautious approach, calling for an end violence in Ukraine while maintaining friendly relations with Russia, and it was hoped that the host country could use this position to bring Moscow the table. While noting that the G20 is not a platform to resolve geopolitical and security issues, leaders have realized that these can have significant consequences for the global economy, Indian External Affairs Minister Drive S. J. Shankar said on Saturday. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese described this as the most significant statement from the institution so far. I think this is an extraordinarily strong statement from the world at the G20 meeting, he said. And Russia must have gotten the message that this is having a devastating effect and that the world wants this war to stop. Because of its impact on the Ukrainian people, but also because of its impact on global inflation and global economies. Indian Prime Minister's call to the world to come together India, rotating host of the G20, was facing pressure to reach consensus among leaders who could no longer even be in same room. This seemed like an impossible task. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that consensus was reached on the G20 leaders' summit declaration in New Delhi. Indian Prime Mini